Hello everybody and welcome to my 10th advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to import data from a database. Um, so this is, I'm going to show you how to do it from a Microsoft Access database um, but you can also use other databases um, and it's a pretty similar uh, methodology. So um, you can import tables or queries um, and I would generally recommend that you import queries uh, rather than the, the tables themselves. Um, just in Microsoft Access, if you import the table, then it also um, will lock down the table as well. Um, so let's get started. So I have a database on my desktop and uh, called, um, you can't see my desktop um, because it show, hides the icons, um, but if we go and try and import it, let's go to data, import external data, import data, and let's go to desktop, and then zip codes. Um, this is just a database that I got uh, by just googling in a sample database on the internet. Um, so select your database and click open um, and then it's coming up with a list of all the the objects within the database so you've got your the, this database contains three tables um, and then one query so I'm going to import the query as I said I generally wouldn't recommend importing a table uh, if you're going to do anything with that then just set up a query to to run off of the table so I'm going to click on that click OK um, it will then ask you where you want to import it so I'm just going to do it in the existing worksheet and then click OK um, and then you'll notice here that it's running the query um, and then it's imported it into my spreadsheet um, and then so that's imported it the first time but the really really useful thing with with this feature is it's not just like you've copied and pasted it in and then that's that this query is now an updatable query so if you right click on it then you'll notice that you've got a refresh data button the same as you would do on a pivot table so if you click that then it's just going to update the data for you um, so that, that, that's really useful um, so there you go uh, you've got your your query in there. Um, now let's say you want to add on um, some some formulas onto the end. So let's say we want to go um, let's say uh, zip and is zero. So it's just going to test whether the the last character is zero. So equals um, if right, and then have our zip code, comma one equals zero. Then true. False. Um, and then we drop that formula down so we've got that formula running against every record now um, but when you update your query that formula isn't necessarily going to do it so if, it add, if there's extra records being added in they're going to drop down here but our formula isn't going to follow across so if you right click on your query and go to data range properties then you get all of these these properties that you can change um, and then this one down here so fill down formulas in columns adjacent to data so if you tick this when you refresh it um, if records go away from the uh, from the database then it won't fill in the formulas there and if they add some on then it will add them on as well um, and it will do that for as many formulas as you want so you can have them going all the way across to the side um, when you do refresh the data you'll notice that when I did it earlier 
um, when I tried to refresh it afterwards, it was coming up with this message saying it's already running. Um, you just have to wait for this world to stop spinning um, before you're able to refresh it again. Um, and then the other quite useful thing is you can have it. So um, if you wait, when you open the file, um, it will automatically refresh it. Um, so that's a useful way of quickly giving people information from your database without actually letting them have access to the database. Um, because you can just give them a spreadsheet that refreshes a query when it opens. Um, and if you want to get rid of the the data when you close it down so it doesn't actually save the data in it, then you can click on this button and remove external data from worksheet. Uh, so that's really useful as well. Um, if your database is password protected, then every time you refresh it, it's going to prompt you for the password. Um, unless you click this button here, which um, will then save the, the database password down within your query um, so that you don't have to put the password in every time. Um, so let's see how much time we've got left. That's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do exactly the same thing. Um, but to a spreadsheet instead. So thanks for listening, and I'm going to hope to catch you in the next tutorial.